And developing right now, a concerning discovery on the Ben Franklin Parkway. The ATF now investigating an abandoned van packed with potentially explosive material. All of this coming as more looting is reported through the city despite a citywide curfew. Eyewitness News reporter Jane Carabeo is live this morning in Northeast Philadelphia where several stores were damaged there overnight. Jan. Janelle, good morning. More than half of the stores here in this strip mall in Northeast Philadelphia were vandalized overnight. I was already able to speak to a couple of people still on the scene here. They tell me it was right around midnight when a group of people jumped out of their cars and went business by business down this road, smashing windows. As you can see, a whole lot of cleanup needs to be done today. First, boarding up the windows and then cleaning up the glass. Let's take a look at the video now. Earlier in the night, a Different part of the city here. The ATF was busy investigating what they're calling a suspicious device. This is North 19th Street and the Ben Franklin Parkway. Police tell us they responded for a report of a van carrying hazardous and explosive materials. When they arrived, investigators found propane tanks and torches. Now, no one was with that van at the time and no arrests have been made. We'll keep you up to date on that one. In the meantime, back here in Northeast Philadelphia at this shopping center, at Sally and the Boulevard, owners are cleaning up broken glass this morning. The vandals smashed the doors and windows at the Acme, a cleaners, a wine and spirits shop, as well as Red's Bar and Grill. Take a listen to what happened to them right around midnight. We were inside and we were doing a couple cleaning jobs and everything, just trying to spruce the place up at the time. And we just seen a bunch of cars pull up, so we hit the lights. And later, soon as we know it, they come up with bats and just start smashing windows. We heard them smash the windows down the road, down Acme, liquor store, cleaners, broke in. But luckily, they just smashed our windows and, and hightailed it out. The day just lapped over now, so it's a new day. And it's also yesterday, so I don't know what to call it. But it's cleanup day, I know that for sure. Trying to keep it positive here in Northeast Philadelphia. They say they're going to wait for the hardware store to open up, go buy some plywood, and board up the front of their restaurant, and that will be open again today. Now, here at this wine and spirit shop, you can see that they have a lot of work to do as well. Similar work, boarding back up, cleaning up glass. We have yet to speak to the owner here, but it does look like some damage was done inside of this business. We're going to keep you up to date on both of these stories, but for now, we're live in Northeast Philadelphia. Jan Carabao, CBS3. Eyewitness News. Back into you. Thank you, Jan.